Do multivitamins help brains? The whole thing, all of it. Well, Anthony Komaroff, uh, the editor-in-chief of the Harvard Health Newsletter, uh, recently answered a question in which he tackled this question. Are ta is taking a multivitamin a day good for brain health? And the answer is maybe. There, was, uh, two, two, there were two randomized controlled trials of a multivitamin pill containing over 20 vitamins and minerals, uh, vitamins A, B12, C, D, E, biotin, potassium, magnesium, zinc, multivitamins. Um, and there were two randomized controlled trials, and these were really well-designed trials, and both of them suggest that the answer may be yes. So let's go, let, let's just briefly touch on both of these trials. So uh, there was one uh, that was published in the journal Alzheimer's and Dementia. And in this study, people were assigned to take a multivitamin or a placebo, an inactive pill. Uh, with, and um, basically, there was a, it, was a, it was a randomized study, so the two groups were essentially the same. And they looked at different aspects of the, of, their, of the people's cognition. After three years, those who had taken the multivitamin had better scores on cognitive testing than those who had taken the placebo. Particularly, this was true in those people who had known cardiovascular disease. So the answer there was a resounding yes take the multivitamin. Now, on May 24th, 2023, a second trial was published online by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The study included over 3,500 people over, that were a little older, over an average age of 73, and these folks didn't have any known cardiovascular disease. Now, as with the other study, the participants were randomized, so both, both groups of people were essentially the same in terms of their education, their cognition, their overall health. After three years, the people taking the multivitamin performed better on a test of memory than the people that were taking the placebo, although they did perform similarly on tests of cognition other than memory. So look, I was under the impression until recently that taking a multivitamin had basically fallen out of fashion, that, that, that it was more dogma than actual science, uh, that it would be good for us. Um, but here we have evidence that there's at least some uh, very, I would call this very good data, um, that taking a multivitamin, particularly for older folks, particularly for those with cardiovascular disease, but presumably you could extrapolate it to a wider population, uh, that, that it can actually be very good for, or at least good for brain health. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely very interesting and promising to some extent. It would be interesting to know a bit more about each individual person, which of course in studies is, is very difficult. And yeah. presumably you can, you can extrapolate and say that a um, good portion of population is deficient in certain things. And those certain things can be vitamin D. Um, it can be certain, uh, certain minerals that we simply don't get in our, in our nutrition. And that of course, is going to predispose us to have certain deficiencies and the deficiencies are then going to trickle down into, into things that are, yes, that are going to be more point. sensitive. Yes, it, it would be great to, to break these out so we'd have more, more of a, a microcosm of the groups to say, yes. well, let's say you're a healthy person and you get your blood work and you have no known vitamin deficiencies and you eat a healthy diet, right. will a multivitamin and at the same time, even even some of the things that you would uh, get blood work for, certain things are much more much more difficult to look for, and certain things are simply not looked at in normal blood work. Magnesium right. levels, uh, you know, things that are yes. important for cognition, and we know magnesium is important in in managing headaches for some people, and in in memory, and so on and so forth. And it is something that we may not get in our diets, especially with uh, some older populations that may settle into you know that that toast and tea. Kind Kind of kind sure. of a diet. Yes. So yeah, that, I mean that's a that's a really good point. And I think th this is as these studies though start to come out, I think hopefully it's going to provoke more and more studies that there's, you know, because it would be interesting to look at other other age groups, yeah. follow yeah. them out for longer, look at other potential benefits. Um, hopefully those studies are on the horizon. Hopefully there's some some young doctors out there that are that are that are in the middle or starting these these studies right now, and we can. Look forward to the data, and we will present it as it comes out. But for now, uh, especially if you're a little older and you're wondering if a multivitamin might help your, your brain, the answer seems to be yes, it might. Absolutely, and, and with any intervention, you know, and, and considering a multivitamin is a, is a minor intervention, you always want to look at the potential negative, negative effects of it. Right. And whenever you're trying something and its positive effects are maybe in question, and I think these studies support that, yeah, maybe it's in question, but there's good enough support to say, yeah, there may be a good, good enough uh, evidence to suggest that you may get good 
uh, good benefit from it, and the downside is very low because really if you're getting right. quality uh, quality multivitamin, then the downside is that you end up excreting it. Right, and, and right. It doesn't replace a good healthy diet. I sure. think the, the, the main downside would be if you're taking a multivitamin and you're thinking, well, now I don't have to eat a healthy diet because right. I get right. my vitamins from this. Clearly, that's not going to be a good approach. But if you're just adding it in, especially for older people with cardiovascular disease, that looks like it would be a good idea for a lot of people. But of course, as always, our disclaimer, talk to your doctor before starting any new vitamin or supplement. Uh, but it does look very promising. Yes. Thank you very much. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let us know if you take a multivitamin and what your experience has been. Um, and as always, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section for that as well. We wish you the best of health. Thank you very much.